this is the most epic thing I have ever done in FL Studio. I just turned my producer tag into a secret hidden watermark. Look at that, that's my name written in audio. So if an artist ever tries to steal my loop or my beat and they think they can get away with it, they'll never know. <laughs> I'll drag it into the playlist, I'll hit this hidden FL Studio feature, and I will call my lawyer. Hello. Oh shit, uh, sorry, I, I didn't, sorry about that. I didn't actually mean to call you. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the future of producer tags, and today I am going to show you how to make one for yourself. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna open up Photoshop. Or if you're broke, you can use paint. You wanna make the height and the width 516 pixels. You wanna go ahead and make your background black. Next, you wanna use white text. It has to be white text and write whatever you want. Open up FL Studio and find the Harmer plugin. Next, you want to open up the spectral view inside of Har the spectral view inside of Harmer. Open up the presets of Harmer, and you want to come down to the templates, and you want to open up Resynthesis. 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 I can't say that. Open it up. In the image tab, make sure that you are set to linear and you also wanna make sure that your frequency is set to hertz. Head on over to your frequency multiplier and you wanna make sure that this is set to four. With certain lettering, you might actually need to change this down to two, so make sure you play with this if you can't see your image. If you missed any of those little steps that I showed you there, your image is not gonna show up, so make sure you do that correctly. We need to protect your loops and beats at all costs. Drag and drop your image that you created into Harmer. Play the keyboard until you see your image appear. For myself, this is happening around C4. Next, you wanna control how your image looks with the course and the fine speed. So hit the key, and if you play with these two, eventually you will get the image to look how you want it to look. You don't want the audio of this secret tag to be heard in your beats and loops, so make sure you use the highest note possible. Next, we are going to open up Edison. Just as a side note, I actually did a quick breakdown of all the hidden features inside of Edison. You can find it on the Sauceware Audio Instagram. Make sure you follow us because we have a lot of tips for producers just like you. In Edison, you wanna come to this eye and you wanna turn on Spectrum. Make sure you are set to on input, hit record, and then play that same note and you will actually see your tag show up here in Edison. Highlight the section that you want to turn into your tag, and then the next thing you want to do is drag it into your playlist. Now this next part is super, super important. This is the hidden feature you need to know inside of FL Studio to make this work. Double click on your new tag and open up the channel settings. Next, you want to go to the audio clip, you wanna right click, and you wanna hit spectrum view. And now you can see the audio on your timeline. Producers, after this, there is no more stealing our loops and beats. No more taking our money. They are not going to get away with it. No one can ever steal our loops again because we will know. So next time you make a fire beater sample, you just have to drag in your tag. Here's a beat we made with Scorch. By the way, Scorch is on sale right now. If you want to go and check it out, it's saucewareaudio.com. We'll make sure that we leave a link to Scorch below. We'll go ahead and export the beat with the tag. So now if you ever suspect somebody of robbing your beats and loops, all you need to do is download that file. You need to take that file, you need to drag it into FL Studio, double click on it and go to that hidden feature that I showed you where you can turn on the spectrum view. Once you turn that on, boom, my best friend Jacob, right there, you're gonna instantly know that this was your beat or your loop. Even if they were able like, to chop it up and manipulate it, still little pieces, little letters are gonna be there. With a little bit of putting it back together, you could figure out that that is your name and that is your loop and sample and you are entitled to whatever you are entitled to. I feel like this is a big breakthrough and I can't keep this to myself, so I am going to call the president of the producer community right now and we'll see what he thinks. <laughs> you know how Nav was saying something crazy on the record like if a, if a producer doesn't take off his tack, I'll just remake the beat, you know? <laughs> right. Okay, well I think I came up with a solution, all right? What's that? I'm gonna show you. Let's see it. Wow, how did you do that? What the heck? That's a watermark, all made with audio. Bruh, 
uh, do you know how revolutionary this information is? Right <laughs> I knew you would love this one. <laughs> that is insane. It looks like you hacked FL Studio. <laughs> I basically did. I am calling on all my producer friends. If you watch this video, what you need to do is share it with somebody else in the community. I think this information is super valuable. Uh, they're gonna wanna know how to do this, and so that way we can all protect the art that we create. Nobody's getting stuck up anymore. We are not getting robbed. We will know for a fact if that was our loop or our beat with this new tagging system in 2023. So make sure you share this with a producer friend. And if you are asking yourself, but what do I do if they do steal my beat? Don't worry, we got you covered. We did an amazing interview with entertainment lawyer, Matt Buser. He shared a bunch of gems, including what to do if somebody uses your loop or your beat without letting you know. As soon as you have something in black and white that you don't fully understand, that's when you need a lawyer. Period. Yes. Big gem there. Uh, hope you guys took that one down. My name is Jacob. I'm here for Sauceware Audio. We're always trying our best to share as much as we can with the producer community. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will be back next week with another big gem for you guys.